going on you guys it's your boy alex west collects here bringing you another figure review today we're taking a look at the brand new storm collectibles jushin thunder liger we got three brand new versions you got them in the red you got the purple and the green if you are interested in picking up these figures they are now shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com your number one source of wrestling action figures and when you shop there make sure to use code for life it'll save you 10 percent off of your order um, so these are available only at ringside. They are exclusive to them. We've gotten quite a few Ligers, um, from Storm over the years. So if you guys aren't familiar with them, they are definitely, uh, more of a premium wrestling figure. Um, I guess collectible. Uh, they're not quite like the Mattels. Uh, it's, it's a lot more detail that goes into these. So you will be paying uh, a premium for that. You know, it's there, it's nicer material, definitely a lot more accessories and uh, more articulation that come with these figures if you are not familiar with them. But uh, we will definitely take an in-depth look at all three of these figures. But, you know, pulling out each figure from kind of a close-up inbox, these did come really nicely packed too. They kind of had like a little protective layer that was wrapped around the, the box for you mock collectors. But taking a close-up at the red version, you can see the image of Liger on the front. And Storm Collectibles on the top. Beautiful images on the side of the box as well. It says World Legend. Take a look at the back. Get an idea of the tire of the figure in the red. Also the purple version. Take a look at the side of the box. Same as the red, just with a purple figure. And the green. Sorry about that. On the sides. And the back. So we're gonna come back and get these ligers out of the packaging. So I figured this would be easier. All three ligers come with the same set of hands and you do get a bunch and we're just gonna run through them real quick. So you do get, instead of like chopping open hands, you get kind of like some open grappling hands. Same with this one, different little posing on the fingers kind of a C-grip open kind of for mic holding or holding objects and a set of fisted hands. So here we are with all three Ligers out of the packaging and I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not gonna try to BS you guys. I don't know that much about Liger. I've watched him sparingly throughout his career. Obviously he's a huge megastar in Japan. You know I, I've seen his work in uh, those early WCW days but I'm not going to sit here and try to pretend I'm a Liger expert, but even I am blown away by the detail and the look of these figures. Just look at them standing there side by side. Unbelievable. Just so much detail going into them. And let's jump right into it. We'll start with the purple first. So take a look at the mask. You can see the detail there. Nice purple with a silver. Even got kind of like the mesh you can see around his eyelids such nice detail you can see like there's a mouth underneath uh the mask on with the opening the hair I and mean, he's got this unbelievable i guess chest piece that is removable it's attached to the cape and just look at the sparkles on that cape that is wow i mean i'm sure mattel could do something like this if they threw the money in there but I mean, this is a $65 figure each, so you can see what your kind of quality and premium uh, figure cloth that they're using. Just unbelievable. And it's even got a wire in there, so if you want to get them in some different dynamic poses, you know, you turn off the side. I mean, I'm not doing it justice here, but the wire definitely will allow for some nice figure photography or just even kind of standing uh, alone on the shelf. If you want to have it posed aside or some dramatic effect, it looks really nice. Um, look at the details on the arms, even the gauntlets. Just so good. Take a look at the back. You can see the sculpting with the stitches on the back of the mask, the hair coming through. Just unbelievable. You know, let's get the actual cape off. So if you guys are not familiar with Storm Collectibles, their parts, they don't pop off easily, but they kind of make it a uh, little collector friendly where you can remove certain parts so just be a little careful comes off pretty easy and if you want to see uh the chest piece where the cape attaches to very soft doesn't have a lot of weight to it and again that beautiful cape look at the sparkles in there this is unbelievable and then you can pop the head right back on 
taking a look at the top of his attire. Some nice sculpting there as well. Um, so for you guys who did, did buy that Storm Collectibles Hogan, he does have the rubber crotch piece that does follow through on this figure. Taking a look at the bottom, his kick pads. Taking a look at the back. I'm a huge Laker fan, so I am definitely digging this purple with a gold on the cape. It looks really nice. Um, and I guess we can go through the articulation real quick. I don't generally do that on my videos because we know what to expect, but um, a lot of people don't necessarily um, have these Storm figures in hand. So he does have a butterfly joint. We'll start up there. Arm goes up about that much. Obviously, you get the double joint elbows. Get some nice range of motion there. There is a bicep cut as well. The wrists do rotate. They do go up and down. Again, they pop off. Not too easily, but, you know, they are easy to interchange. It does have that nice diaphragm joint. Obviously, rotation at the waist. You can do the full splits. No problem. Kick up about that much. Look at the articulation on the knee. The foot does go down. You do get some nice rotation at the ankle joint as well. Nice ankle pivot. This was my only gripe with these rubber crotch pieces. I feel like sometimes um, they get stuck and you kind of like gotta like push it back underneath. But I mean, if you're using these for display, that should not be a problem. Um, the head fully rotates. So all in all, you are definitely getting um, some, some extra articulation with this figure. Uh, it definitely allows for more posability and it just looks great. I mean, the paint applications, the details in the cave, just really blown away um, by how good this figure looked. So moving on to the red version, and you can see it is similar to the the purple one, but the paint applications on the mask are different. Uh, you can see the gold mesh around the eyes, the gold on the horns with a nice green accent. Looks pretty good. You also do um, see the opening for the mouth underneath. And take a look at the difference, the cape. Actual top piece is very different. It's got the, I guess the horns that extend out. Um, different design, different pattern on the chest piece as well. Um, taking a look, he does have the same gauntlets as the purple one, just with the gold accents. And the cape itself doesn't have that sparkle to it. So I'll bring the purple one back in. You can see the difference as well as on the back. Uh, the mask itself, again, same sculpting, different hair. It's more of a brown um, kind of hint to it. See the difference instead of the black with the purple version. Um, again, you can pop the head off. Just be a little careful. But I have not had one of these break on me yet, so. Take a look at the chest piece underneath. This one also does have that wire. So if you want to get them some different poses, you can put that aside, pop the head back on. And you can see the chest piece on this one. Again, very similar to the last one we just saw. Different paint applications. Same with the bottom half. Taking a look at the back. Is it me or is... Okay, no, I thought the head was not sitting right, but snapped into place now, no problem. This looks pretty good. I'll bring them both side by side. I like them both. I don't know. I, I kind of like the gold accents on this one, but I, I do like the white and purple too that pops. So that's going to be a preference uh, on the color you like, or just get both if you like both. Uh, like I did, I got all three, but I mean, if you guys are only looking to have one Liger in your collection, um, you got some options, that's for sure. And I think there's actually another one coming out in October. Uh, so that was, I think, I don't know if it's an earlier Liger, or earlier edition. I don't know. Again, I'm not an expert, but moving on to the green himself. This mask seems to be, let's say it's a little different. Let's pull all three of them in. And we can kind of compare. We can get them all on camera. Yep, this one definitely seems to have some, some different accents. Um... The middle piece is more filled in versus the other ones. But I think all in all, they definitely follow the same mold that we see on all three. 
Now, the interesting thing with this one, he does not come with a cape. This kind of reminds me of like the Green Ranger from the Power Rangers kind of look. He's got this big shield uh, on his chest. The hair on this one seems to be a little more on the browner side. You can see the nice gold on the back. I do like that for the mask. Looks really cool. Um, same gauntlet as the other ones. And if you want to take a look at the back, the shield one more time. Pop his head off. Make it nice and easy. Ah, so he's got some pieces on the side here. So that's not a problem. Like I was saying, the storm pieces do pop off. Just be gentle. Arms can pop right out. Pop the other side out. It's all right. And we can slide this up on over. Maybe it might actually be easier. No, we can we can slide this over. Oh, stupid me. I'm going through all this. And I think there's just dirt. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm glad they went this round instead of disassembling the figure. But yeah, uh, I wish I would have known that before I took this guy apart. But it does pour it in through there. That will definitely make your life a lot easier. But hey, it's a nice tutorial for you guys who don't have any Storm figures. Pop the arms right back in. That is not a big deal. And this looks really nice, man. This attire, oof. I do like the gold throughout, man. That pops too, man. I don't know which one I, I want to say is my favorite out of these. These all have different things that I really do like. Obviously, the gear is very similar. It's the same mold, just kind of repainted. Um, but that looks nice. Fallen suit on the bottom. He's got the nice silver on the kick pads. So I feel like extra cost for this figure probably went into the paint because he didn't have that sparkly uh, kind of high deco cape. And uh, I guess they could get away with painting a little more of the shinier accents. This looks nice. I really do like this. So let's put them all side by side. You guys tell me which lighter you like best in the comments down below. That's tough. I mean, they are all really great standalone figures on their own. Um, let's come back and we're going to do some figure comparisons. All right, so it's comparison time. And uh, for any of you guys who don't own any uh, Storm Collectible figures or Storm Collectibles um, wrestling action figures, they are in scale with your standard Mattel and uh, AEW Jazzwares figures. But they are a tad bit bulkier. You're going to know, notice a little difference in the size. Um, if you have any of the prior Hulk Hogan figures they did a few years back, you kind of have an idea. But So they I will bring in the Storm Hogan's, the ringside exclusive versions, and the NWO version, just to give you an idea. So they are in the same universe. Um, but again, they are a tad bit bulkier. I figured I'd try to keep it somewhat within the New Japan universe. So here we have an Elite AJ Styles and an Ultimate Edition Shinsuke Nakamura. And you can see the size difference in comparison with the Mattels and how much uh, more weight and size there are with the uh, Storm Collectibles figures. Here we have some AW Jazzwares figures. We have the Unrivaled Series 6 Chris Jericho and the Unmatched Series 1 Kenny Omega. You can see they do scale pretty well, but again, just like the Mattel figures... Uh, the Storm Collectibles definitely do have a li little bit more size to them. And here we have the most recent uh, Silver Chest uh, Jushin Thunder Liger that was last released by Ringside Collectibles. Uh, just to give you an idea of how some of the older ones look. And I'll be honest, I think he's a, a tad shorter. Not by a lot, but if you see him side by side, he is a little shorter. I don't know if it's... The mask? No, to me, it doesn't look like they line up eye to eye. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's try back to back. So he is a tad shorter. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know if they scaled them up. Maybe it was inaccurate before. But just to give you an idea size-wise how they stack up. So here we have all four Ligers decked out in their entrance gear. And, you know, breaking it down. So this is a premium figure. They are not cheap. They are $65 uh, on ringside collectibles. And, you know, going through this, this detailed review, you can see exactly um, why they cost so much more. 
as far as the unique sculpting detail on the mask, the paint applications, the added articulation, uh, the nice detail and the soft goods, uh, the sparkle on the cape itself. You got the wires in the cape. So they are expensive, but you know, they, I feel like it is justified to an extent because this figure really is on another level. Now, with that being said, do you need all four of these figures? Probably not. Um, unless you're a Liger super fan, I think you definitely need at least one for your collection. That's really going to come down to preference. Uh, we've gotten a ton of these released from Storm Collectibles. Um, other than these four, Ringside did uh, release another version in white. There's a black version. Um, I think there was another, I don't know if it was a Japan exclusive with him in like kind of blue attire. We have another debut version coming out this fall. So again, you have options. Going through these one more time, I think the purple one probably has the cape that I like the most. I do like how it sparkles on the back. Um, I do like the chest piece. Uh, it looks very nice. The red figure itself, I feel like if you put that on any figure display, it's going to catch some attention. It's all red. It's decked out. It's got the nice cape. doesn't have the sparkles that this one or the silver chest one has. But again, you're not going to miss that. The green one itself, while it does not have any soft goods, I do like the paint applications on the actual ring gear itself. Um, probably not my favorite uh, chest piece, but the shield does look nice. Kind of uh, reminiscent of the Green Ranger. And the silver uh, chest liger is actually still available on Ringside Collectibles. And if you guys want to get a kind of a look on the cape and do a comparison of that, you can see this actually has the sparkles on both sides. So, again, it's going to be based on preference. Me, personally, if I had to pick one out of the new Ligers, I'm going to give a slight edge to the purple. I know, to me, it just looks nice. I'm going to put the red as second. And the green, not that it's a bad figure, but I don't know. I'm just a sucker for some uh, nice, soft, good capes, especially with the wire. I do like that added bonus. And if you are interested in any of these figures, they are all available on ringsidecollectibles.com. That is the only place you're going to find these figures. Uh, when you shop there, use code for life. It'll save you 10% off your order. Before you guys go, please make sure to hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel here for more great content. And as always, follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. Thanks for checking this review and take care.